Well, thanks to my friend Heather. This is one of my favorite pieces of art, and it's a great way of making our RV our home. And I'm going to give you four ways to hang stuff up on your RV walls. So I'm Angie in Adventures in No Madness. I want to share these four ways of doing this for you. And number one is with command strips. This one is up here with uh, command Velcro strips, and I'm going to re-put this one up. Now, one of the issues we've had, we've been full-time for two years now, and we've had this one up pretty much the whole time. This one has only come down once, and I'm going to redo the command strips right now for demonstration purposes. And I think also because of the extreme cold we've been, some of these were getting ready to fail anyway. So better now than when we're bouncing along on the road. On this one, because it's such a hard surface, I've actually had to double some of these up. And I'm going to put one back there. I've already taken the strip off of it. And then I'm going to stick this back up on the wall. You do want to make sure your wall is clean and then just press and hold that really tight for a bit, making sure it really sticks to your wall. We've had this one on for over a year without it falling off. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, that's command Velcro strips. Number two is command hooks. We use hooks all over the place in here, We're a little hook crazy. And again, because of the very cold temperatures we had this winter, we only had a couple of these come off, but time to redo them. I'm gonna take this one. And we like to put our keys here, so I'm gonna hold that one up. Uh, you can use these to hang stuff off of too. We do have a couple of screws in some of the walls that we've reinforced, but I think the command hooks are actually a better way of hanging things. We've got some little decorations like this up here that we can put on a hook. We also have this hanging up on hooks on this wall here. And one way we could get this to stay against the wall here is I've actually used command strips, Velcro on the, on the back side here. It doesn't really stick to this very well. Uh, there are some magnets that we might use. Just a little worried that that might take the finish off the wall. So this is a little bit of a work in progress, but it does hang pretty nicely as far as the hooks up here. And number three, a great way to put artwork on your walls without putting any holes in them is to do a decal. We found this on Etsy and we love sort of the whimsical Dr. Seuss saying, a little bit of uh, John Muirish, but you're off to great places. Today's your day. Your mountain is waiting. Get on your way. A fourth great way to hang things off your wall is to use a fish line. Now this is a great suggestion from our friend Anne. What she does, she takes some fish line basically and she attaches it to the back of the actual artwork and this is going to be great if you have something a little heavier. So screw it into the frame or the back side somehow and then run it up underneath the cabinet then into the cabinet and then once it's in the cabinet you can tie the string around a screw or something and then, if you know, instead of it just flopping around, you can use some uh, command strips to hold it to the wall. But that way, the fish line is actually taking most of the brunt of the weight. Yeah, it looks pretty nice up there, doesn't it? Well, I want to really want to hear how you hang things on your RV wall. So if you could put that in the comment below, I would really love that. And please hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Command strips.